It's just editor. Today I've got a new experiment where I'll be creating copper balls along a wall of a bottle. First of all, an empty bottle. I've got to put in one whole entire bottle of sodium acetate. There we go. Now we can get one big spoon of sodium ascorbate. Now I need to take this funnel, put down the sodium ascorbate. There we go. Now I need to put the lid back on. Shake it for 30 seconds. There we go. This is now been 30 seconds. We need to open up the lid. Now I need to put in one whole entire bottle of copper sulfate. And as you can see, it's turned a dark colour. Alright. Now I need to put the lid back on and shake it for another 30 seconds. Now we need to go and expose the mixture, as you can see here, to light. This will speed up the reaction and it will take several hours. It's been four hours and as you can see here, there's been a nice little copper wool forming. Now I need to go and unscrew the lid and pour out all the contents, which are very green. Now you can see she's got a nice copper wool. Also on the bottom there too. I've seen that the metallic copper on a bottle just formed out of nowhere. However, the copper was already inside the solution. Copper sulfate has copper ions with a positive charge of two, which is just two ions away from turning metallic. There are many ways to provide copper with two electrons, but not all of them will make a nice shiny metallic wall. Though, however, in a previous experiment where we created copper dendrites, Copper well, turned into a dendrite. In this particular instance, the ascorbate to ions from sodium ascorbate gave copper its electrons. It doesn't like to react in the dark, so we had to use a lamp to speed up the reaction. Sodium acetate made it stick around the walls, not just sink down on the bottom. Thank you for watching. There'll be a new video next week. Please like and subscribe.